Hey church, welcome to youth. This happens from seven to nine every week on a Friday. <laughs> um, every week on a Friday. And we have about 80 to 100 young people that come from the local area, some like from church and about 50% at one point came from the, from the local area. One of the main things that we do each year is our summer camp. It takes place about over there. We, um, we get them together, have church services, but we just have loads and loads and loads of fun as well. Um, one of the things that the church does is actually gift for some of the young people who can't afford to come to be there, people that wouldn't usually be able to be there. So Bishop Luffer, who we have a good relationship with, they contacted me this year and said, what can we do? We have a group of Ukrainians that come along the, to Bishop Luffer and just joined what can we do? Is there anything we can do for them? And, and we said, yeah, they can come for free. So an amazing group of people in our church gave money and we managed to get them on. And in the end, we had about six Ukrainians and there wasn't a dry eye in the house when they all stood on the stage and we stood and prayed for them, gave them gifts and, and just really loved on them. I remember it was the last day when we were packing up and Mary's mum, who was the, Mary was the translator for the event and still just 16 year old girl. Her mum came up to me and she said, why, why have you guys done this? Why, why? And I said, we love because Jesus first loved us. We've got no agenda, we're just Christians. And it's people like that, Christians, people like you, who invested in this next generation and is making, are making events like this that happen every week here possible so thank you for what you're doing church and you know what next summer camp we'd love to do something similar we'd we'd love to take on even that group of ukrainians again or another group that need it but that's our area of faith stretch and we'd love you to join in with us